Hi, I'm Joe Coburn from MakeUseOf.com and today we'll be looking at the TerraMaster F2 220 Network Attached Storage Device featuring an Intel Celeron dual core running at 2.4 GHz and 2 GB of RAM this device is more than just a giant memory stick each bay supports drives up to 8 terabytes in capacity for a total combined capacity of 16 terabytes although if you configure the drives as a RAID array your total capacity may be reduced if that's not enough storage space other models come with up to 5 bays and a quad core processor it supports traditional hard disk drives or SSDs using SSDs would be very expensive but it would reduce the noise and power consumption inside the box you get a power supply a Cat5 cable and various screws and screwdrivers to attach the drives to the bays. It would be nice to receive a manual of sorts. You basically just get a link to their website. On the back, there's a gigabit ethernet port along with USB 2 and 3 ports. These USB ports are for backing up the entire NAS to an external drive. It's not possible to back up an external drive to the NAS using USB. Speaking of power consumption, the F2 220 only draws 17 watts when in full use and this drops down to 2 watts when in standby. For comparison, the Google Pixel uses 17 watts to charge and the Raspberry Pi uses between 1 and 2 watts. This equates to a very respectable $20 to run for the whole year. Setup is nice and easy. The website guides you through downloading and installing the software, which in turn finds and configures the NAS on the network. TerraMaster claim that aluminium shell and quiet fan reduce noise and heat. While the fan is very quiet, the noise of hard drives can be a problem. They are not excessively loud and it is possible to buy reduced noise drives or SSDs. If you're going to use this NAS tucked away in a corner, perhaps underneath the stairs or behind the TV, then this noise isn't a problem. I used it on my desk and the noise was a problem. The main problem was the vibrations from the drive could be felt along the length of the desk. This isn't a fault of TerraMaster, this is just how mechanical hard drives work. After a period of inactivity, the F2 220 will enter standby mode. This stops spinning the drives, significantly reducing the noise and increasing the life of the drives. As there is only a gigabit ethernet port, the only way to run this SNAS box is over the network. Having a USB or Thunderbolt port would make file transfers much faster. TerraMaster manufacture many other models, some of them with USB-C such as the D2310. It's up to you to decide which connections you need and to purchase the correct model accordingly. In terms of performance, providing you have a wired network set up already, read and write speeds are very good. You can expect to achieve about 500 megabits read and 250 megabits write. One performance issue I ran into was with Wi-Fi devices. Using a MacBook Pro connected over Wi-Fi, it took a very long time to transfer data. Write speeds dropped to about 50 megabits per second, and even on a fast network this was painfully slow. This is not entirely the fault of TerraMaster, as computers can be notoriously slow at copying thousands of files. Where the F2 220 really shines is acting as a media device for your entire household. Running the TerraMaster operating system, it supports a staggering number of services and protocols. You can run it as a database server, an email server, or a web server, although only PHP is supported at the minute. It can synchronise with Dropbox and you can run it as a Plex or iTunes server. Any device across the network can be configured to access the TerraMaster operating system. Thousands of users can be added and managed, all of whom can enable and disable services, manage files, manage users and much more. While I did notice some slowdowns trying to access media from the web, I'm pleased to report there were no such slowdowns when streaming media or content to other devices. Priced at $190 without drives, the F2 220 is not the cheapest NAS on the market. For this price, you get a solid, well-designed and stable system. You get a dual-core processor and something that is more server than dumb media device. The F2 220 is perfect for streaming media across the network or backing up your computer. TerraMaster manufacture NAS boxes in a variety of configurations and storage capacities. There will nearly always be a model suitable for your needs. Thanks for watching and make sure you head on over to makeuseof.com to read our full review and enter our giveaway where you can win your own F2 220 along with two 4TB drives to put in it.